There is an inherent sense that knows when something is closer to being in conformity with the universal norm and when something is deviating from it. Deviating from what? From the cosmic norm. This understanding of Dharma art as the universal norm is merely a foundation to reconstruct an inherent aesthetic sensibility in the human being. Conditioned values have gone farther and farther away from this. In some sense, this occurred when the idea of monarchy was debunked and the idea that only democracy had value. Along with monarchy, all hierarchical values were also held in suspicion or rejected. The baby was thrown out with the bathwater. Hierarchy means sacred order, or rule by sacred order. Democracy does not know how to sustain hierarchical values. This is where the moral aesthetic problem arises. When we talk about Dharma art, we are also talking about the reawakening and reintegration of human consciousness into the natural sacred order. This requires re-education toward the realization that the universal aesthetic norm has an intrinsic sense of hierarchical value. Not only does the hierarchic value include heaven above and earth below, but also a type of corresponding spiritual-moral hierarchical value. The de-mediocracy demolishes aesthetic and human-moral-spiritual hierarchy as well. Technology breeds de-mediocracy. Everyone wants everything to be equally democratized and everyone wants an equal voice. But the fact is that from the point of view of natural hierarchy, there are some voices more worth hearing than others simply because there are some people who make more spiritual effort than others. For instance, it cannot be denied the natural wisdom that exists in spiritual elders, but the democratization of values tends to diminish the capacity of the elders to become wise. In principle, there are people with more wisdom than others, but in democracy this is hard to know. It is difficult to bring real voices of wisdom into what we call the democratic marketplace. This is because the structures for recognizing them do not exist. The only structures that exist are for the creation of so-called democratic values where the people with the most money and best marketing come out on top. In this structure, genuine wisdom is not valued. Natural spiritual hierarchy values wisdom and believes that the cultivation of natural spiritual values should be the first order of business in the human society. We do not need to go into all these reasons why this perception is not incorporated in the democratic style society, not the least being the separation between church and state. After this split was institutionalized, then not only it is hopeless to have any spiritual values affect the marketplace, but these values become increasingly diminished and mediocre as well.